Yes. I'm becoming darn right popular. Come in, have a seat. I'd like to talk about Isaac Brown. Ah, uh, Isaac. You knew Isaac? Sort of, yes. I'm looking into his death. Really? That was almost five years ago. Why the sudden interest? Let's just say that I have a personal interest in clearing it up. Anything else you can tell me about Isaac? Why do you want to write about him? I don't want to go too in-depth. Out of respect, you understand? Sure. I was drawn to him for the same reasons I'm drawn to anybody I write about. I felt he had a story that could reach people, enrich them, perhaps learn from. Really? Miss Blackwell, spend some time talking to the poor and the downtrodden. Walk down the Bowery and speak to the half-wits and the have-nots. In one hour, you'll learn more from them than you would from a lifetime of school. So what was Isaac's story? I know he played in a band called the C-Sharps, then something obviously <clears throat> went wrong. What was it? Listen, have you tried asking Mr. Sharp? Yes. He's not talking. I don't blame him. He's probably feeling guilty. Guilty? Why? He has his reasons. Could you, uh, I don't know, tell me what those reasons are? I can't do that. Of course he can't. Mr. Mitchell, I need to know what happened. Listen, I don't like this. I don't feel comfortable talking about people without their consent. I won't say any more about Isaac, or his sister. Sister? Sister? Uh, please, I'm not gonna say any more. Who was Isaac's sister? I told you, not another word. Who was I told about Isaac Brown? I told you. So tell me about your I bet tell me Yes, I hope you I'm afraid. Are you sure you've never met a woman like that? No, I've never I'd like to read your piece about Isaac. Ah, uh, well, I'm afraid I can't help you there. I never published it. You didn't? No, it seemed a bit in bad taste. Since when do reporters care about bad taste? Since when do reporters care about bad taste? Ah, uh, you don't have a high opinion of journalists, do you? Well, you hear things. Oh no, don't worry about it. I'm well aware of the stereotype. I have written about deceased persons before when I felt it was in the public's interest. But Isaac, well, I felt the man deserved some peace. If you felt his story could reach people, enrich them as you say, why didn't you publish the story? Listen, Miss Blackwell. Isaac didn't just die. He was murdered. Someone reached around his neck and strangled the life right out of him. That puts a bit of a damper on the story I wanted to tell. So nobody will hear the story? All my notes on him have been destroyed. Isaac's story might not have reached the people, but it reached me. Maybe that's enough. I think that's all for- Alright, you have a good night now. So Isaac Brown had a sister, the plot thickens. No. Cecil? What? I need to speak to you about Isaac's sister. You fat! You've crossed the line, sister. It was fun for a while, but now it's time for you to leave. Ooh, now you've done it. Look, I'm sorry. Oh, you're sorry. Sorry enough, sister. Leave. I'll leave, but I'll be back. You really have a way with the fellas, kid. Ah, don't sweat it. His bark is worse than his bite. Why would I want to? Why would I? Why would I? I know that expression. Only time a man gets a look like that is when he's hung up over a woman. Go easy on him, huh? I think he cares more about that gal than he lets on. 
I know that. I'll go. I, I know. I'll go. I, just some sheep. Nothing special. Nothing's changed. Hmm. This. It's our sax playing. Whoever that is, especially with such. A hmm. It's the Jasmine ghost. The woman is blocking. I can't. The only th pretty. Oh, it's you. That's me. I'm like a bad penny. You loved her, didn't you? Of course, I loved her. She was our heart and soul. I would have... Damn you, woman. Damn you. I just want to play this piano and forget she ever existed. Why don't you just leave me alone? So what happened, C? It's very important that you tell me. All right. All right. I don't know who you are or why you're so interested. But you're never going to leave me alone, are you? No, I won't. You were in a band together, right? Yeah, we had a band. Smart girl. Then she died. Then he died. End of story. How did you meet Isaac's sister? First of all, her name was Sarah. I was looking to start a band, and I saw them perform together. She could sing like... It was magic. Such energy. Such life. Such a waste. What happened to Sarah? She got sick. Pneumonia or something. Started coughing one day and wouldn't stop. She got better after a while, but something happened to her voice. Doctor said she would never sing again. After that, the spark just went out. She hung on for a few months, but she just lost the will to live. Anything else you can tell me about Sarah? I love that woman. Even when she lost her voice, I would have given up everything for her. Heck, I would have even let her brother live with us. I should have told her. What was Isaac really like? That fat bastard. He was good on the sax, but that was the end of his good points. He drank, he was violent, he was useless in every other way. But Sarah could calm him down. She was the only one. If it wasn't for Sarah, I never would have kept him around. About that report- I know, son. Just leave. What happened to Isaac after Sarah died? He went to pieces. What do you think? Well, he couldn't cope. Drank way too much. Started fights during gigs. I tried to stick with him out of respect for Sarah, but let's face it. He was a big, dumb embarrassment. About I told Please. So you cut ties with Isaac? Completely. Told him he was a drunk and a lowlife and wasn't worth the peanuts I paid him. Which was, let's face it, totally true. What happened? He beat me senseless is what happened. Knocked me out with the sacks I bought for him. Then he became a bum. Spent the rest of his life living on the streets of Roosevelt Island. Till he got killed by some drifter. You don't know who killed Isaac? Yes, I killed him. Oh, come on. No, I did. I'm not the one who put my hands around his neck or choked him to death. But I killed him just the same. You shouldn't be so hard on yourself. I know that. My brain knows that. But my heart won't listen. Can you tell me anything else about Isaac? No, I've... See you later. Yeah. You know, all this talk reminds me of something. Sarah and Isaac would always play this song. Really? Yeah. A duet. At the end of every show. She'd sing and he'd play the saxophone? No, she'd actually play the piano, if you can believe it. She wasn't great, but she loved playing with Isaac. And Isaac loved that silly song. They never let me join them, but that was okay. It was kind of sweet, in a way. Oh, well. Cecil? What? What was the duet that Isaac and Sarah used to play? Oh, that. It was just a short little thing. Isaac would just improv the whole thing. But Sarah's was always the same. Went something like... After Sarah died, Isaac would play gigs, but refused to leave the stage. He'd blow on his sax playing anything that came to mind. Feet planted like a statue. He'd just keep playing? He'd play forever if I didn't get four guys to drag him off. I think... I think he was waiting for Sarah to play with him. He was supposed to finish each show with her and... Well... In his heart, he refused to believe she was dead. 
See you later. Yeah. Why would I want to? Why would I want to? Re why would I want? See what? Could you play that song again? Yeah, sure. Why not? I think I've recorded enough. Sis? Is that you, sis? I've been waiting for so long. No, Isaac. I'm not your sister. She couldn't come. No. No, she couldn't, could she? My sister's dead, isn't she? Yeah. Now I'm dead, too. Yeah. I knew that. Deep down, I knew that. I just couldn't let go. I'm sorry. Is that why you two are here? To help me let go? That's what we do best. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do. Don't worry. Just leave everything to us. Here, just take this. Whatever you say. Hold on tight. This is the fun part. Hi, Isaac. Hey, this is it. Eternity, the white light, the passage into the next world. It is something, all right? Still can't believe I'm dead. Crazy old lady, she killed me. Old lady? Yeah. Says she wanted to help me. Then goes and chokes me. Why'd she want to go and do a thing like that? I'm sorry, I wish I knew. I don't think it matters anyway. It's time I join my sisters. Just head into the light. Thanks, honey. You've been real kind. And uh, tell your friends sorry for the crap over here. <laughs> right. Another day, another spirit gone to the rest. Hmm. Rest. Well, that's a nice word. You all right? Yeah, fine. I'm exhausted. Call it a night? Sounds good to me. You? Like clockwork. You saved him? Yeah, sure we did. No thanks to you. We've got some questions for you, lady. Why did you kill Isaac and Mavis? I didn't kill them. I'm like you. You're nothing like us. We don't kill. I help spirits into the next world, like you. You mean you're a medium? Yes. But you can't be. I am like you. Wait, no. This doesn't make any sense. Why are you killing people? I save people! I don't hurt them! 
Get back here! Stupid old hag! Let's get after her. God damn it. Your nose okay? That lamppost should not have been there. I'm not moving from this spot. She's in one. Feeling better? I'm so confused, Joey. I feel like the answer is on the tip of my tongue. I just can't figure it out. Well, let's chat for a while. Brainstorm a bit. Maybe we'll come up with something. She's a medium like me. It makes no sense. It does make sense, actually. She's not an animal or another ghost. The only way she could see me is if she was a medium like you. Why would a medium kill? Maybe she doesn't think of it as killing. She did say she helped people, saved them. By killing them? Maybe she felt they were better off dead? I don't think so. Mavis and Isaac were sad mixed up people, but they didn't deserve to die. Maybe she thinks otherwise. Is she my future? What do you mean? That woman, the Countess, or whatever she's called. Is that what happens to mediums when they get old? I... I don't know, darling. I really don't. But I won't let that happen to you. You have my word on that. If she's a medium, where is her spirit guide? You know, I wondered that myself. I'm your connection to the spirit world. The Countess, or whoever she is, doesn't have that. Or at least none that we can see. Is it possible to be a medium without a guide? I don't think so, sweetheart. That's one thing I'm sure of. Medium and guide. That's how it works. What could have happened to her spirit guide? I don't know. I thought you couldn't leave my side. I know. Either her spirit guide managed to escape, or... Or what? Or it was killed. Is that possible? I don't know. I don't think I want to know. So what could her connection be? Dunno. Something has to connect her to the spirit world. It's not another ghost or we would see it. So it must be something else. Something that has a connection to everything we've seen. Or someone. Yeah, that's it. The Countess connects these two cases. There has to be something or someone else that has the same connection. Joseph Mitchell? Bingo! The reporter? How could he have this kind of power? I don't know how he got the power, but it all fits. He wrote about both Mavis and Isaac, and the Countess killed both of them. He seems like the best candidate. But it doesn't make any sense. Think about it. You're a medium. What is it that mediums do? We help spirits into the next world. Exactly. A medium needs a guide. Hers is gone. Somehow Mitchell fills in the gap. Our Countess is being told, through Mitchell's writing, to help certain spirits into the next world. It's not her fault they're still alive. You mean... I think you get the picture. Oh god, that's sick. It makes sense, though. How is this possible? There's only one way to find out. It's time we paid our friend Mitchell one more visit. Let's chat a second. Sure, what's up? So, are we gonna f- We got Yeah. That old lady. There's some- Well, she has killed some- If she- We just had- Got any idea? Not lucky. Alright. Yeah. I don't see what one has- Come on, let's get out of here. Right behind you. Yes? Miss Blackwell. Hello again, Mr. Mitchell. I was just about to head home. Oh, I'll just be a second. Well, if you insist, do have a seat. Thanks, but I'd rather stand. Go on, let him have it. Mind if I smoke? Well, actually... Thanks. Miss Blackwell, my patience is wearing thin. My family is waiting for me. Tell me what you want. 
You finished your writing for the day, Mr. Mitchell? Yes, yes I have. And now I'm going home. He's full of hot air. The page is blank. You haven't written anything today, have you? Why do you say that? The paper is blank. What? How do you know that? I have exceptional eyesight. There's dust. Don't forget the dust. And there's dust on the typewriter. Well, can't contradict you there. So? So, I don't think that's any of your business, Miss Blackwell. Now, if you'll excuse me. Mr. Mitchell, two people are dead. So I gathered. You wrote about both of them. Yes, I did. You don't find anything suspicious about that. I've written about hundreds of people over 30 years. The fact that two of them happen to be dead does not surprise me. It's just a coincidence. Funny thing about my life, Mr. Mitchell? If something looks like a coincidence, it normally isn't. Well, I hate to disappoint you. Ooh, look at the sweat on this guy's brow. If he ain't lying, I'm dying. So to speak. You aren't a very good liar. And you are poking your nose into things you don't understand. You'd be surprised at what I understand, Mr. Mitchell. Try me. Who are you, anyway? You come in, out of the blue, and bring up all this. All of what? I don't know. I... I honestly don't know. I write about people and they die. Can you understand that, can you? My whole life I've been driven to write about people. Now I kill them instead. Why is this happening? I think it's a penance of some kind. I've shared the intimate details of people's lives with the world. Perhaps I revealed one secret too many. I don't think about it anymore. I just come to work like nothing's wrong. Everyone's been very polite so far, but I'm sure the ball will drop someday. You've done nothing wrong. There's a woman called the Countess. She kills whoever you write about. A Countess? Killing people that I write about. That's a tall story, and that's a lot to take in. Why would she do something like that? How did this happen? Probably because of your connection to humanity. I don't know. You said probably, so you're not sure? Not as such, no. Well then, I appreciate you trying, but I prefer if you left well enough alone. I can't leave it alone, Mr. Mitchell. Oh, rest assured you can. You seem like a capable young lady, and I'm sure you think you know what's what. But I don't want any more deaths on my conscience. Don't you want to write again? Oh yes. But people are safe as long as I don't write about anything real. I've always wanted to try a hand at fiction. Had a story in my head for years. I'll probably give it a whirl, see how it goes. But no more deaths. Not on my watch. You're not a murderer, Mr. Mitchell. No, I'm not. Five years back, I tried to write about a man. An old man in a bar. He was killed the next day, choked to death. I didn't think anything of it at the time. Then I wrote about another man, Mr. Isaac Brown. You know him. He died the same way. Still figured it was just a coincidence. But then it happened with Mavis Wilcox. For the third time in a row! No, I didn't kill them. Not on purpose. But if I wrote a fourth time, that would be murder. Plain and simple. I'm trying to help you. And I never asked for it. People die when I write. So, I don't write. The problem's solved. If you won't help me, I'll have to go to the police. Oh? And tell them what? All those deaths? All killed the same way? So soon after you met them? I'm sure they'd be interested in that information. Is that right? Well, I'd be careful if I were you. Careful? I'm not without defenses, if you know what I mean. Is that a threat? Are you threatening to write about me? I didn't say anything. You know what? Go right ahead. What do you mean? You want to write so bad? Write about me. Dust off that typewriter and get to work. Knock yourself out. Listen, I spoke out of turn. I didn't honestly mean... Hell with that. Just do it. Hey, this is dangerous. I know what I'm doing. I can't do it. Like hell you can't. You've been writing for how long? 30 years? More? I know you can do it. I want to meet this thing head on. It's the only way. Do it. You don't know what you're asking. What's the worst that could happen? You could die. Oh. Is that all? But... Quiet. Right. I was born in Troy, upstate New York. My mother's name was Patricia. My father... You getting this stuff down?
Well, I hope you're happy. I'm never happy. <coughs> Excuse me. Hey. We're supposed to be a team. You can't make this kind of decision without asking me first. Button it, Joey. If this broad's a medium like me, then I have some questions for her. If I'm gonna end up like that, I wanna know. And if she kills you for your trouble? Well, then I won't have to worry. And what happens to me, huh? You die, what the heck happens to me? You'll move on to whoever's next. That's how it works, doesn't it? It's not about that. Maybe you'll end up with my baby brother. I'm sure you guys will get along great. Yeah, great. When do you think she'll get here? I don't know. I feel her coming, though. She knows who I am. How can you feel that? I just do. She was right. She's like me. Maybe mediums call out to each other. So, any thought on how to handle her? Nope, not a one. I just want to talk to her. Well, she can see and hear me, so I can help. You're not alone. Yeah. You understand? You're not alone. I'm tired, Joey. I'm so tired. All right. I'll just leave you to it. Yeah. She's here. So polite of her to knock. This is her bed. She can lie in it. It's the... You know me. Come in. I'm watching you. So... What's your story? I want to help you. Help me, huh? You're in pain? Lost? I can help. Who are you? I am the Countess. Do you have a guide? The spirit guide? I still feel her. She is gone, but not completely gone. What do you mean? Kid, her mind is snapped. She's not gonna make any sense. Yes, she snapped my mind. She went away and my world expanded. I see everything. Everything! It hurts! Were you like me before your spirit guide went away? Like you? You know, sane. Joey. I was... Happy. I was smaller. Saw the world in muted colors. And there was music. Sweet music. We helped people. It felt good. Now she is gone. Now I help people, but it feels bad. Who was your spirit guide? She had a name. I no longer know. I wish I knew. I cannot think. Not without her. Why did she leave? Why? Where is your spirit guide now? I don't know. Her voice is gone. I'm lost. I found that other voice, but he is so quiet. You mean Mitchell? The true guide. She is gone. Gone. How did she go away? I don't know. She found a way. Why did she do that? Were you like, like you know, Jeff? I, I was all and then we have now she now. I'm. You're bonded with Joseph Mitchell. Is that his name? The guide who is not a guide? Yes. The non guide. He speaks to the world. He spoke to me. He tells me what to do. Oh, he is so often silent. It's been years since I heard his voice. But tonight I heard him. He told me to help you. He didn't tell you that. Why else would I be here? I... I'm here to help you. You're here to kill me. No! I don't kill! I will set you free! Hey, watch it, lady. Will I... become like you? Please tell me. That's all I want to know. You? You are loved. Loved? Loved by who? You are in pain, my child. Let me help you. 
I'd like to help you instead. Help me? I need no help. You need to be free. Hey. Hey! Let her go, you old witch! Damn it! I can't do anything! Fight her! Lauren, fight back! Fight back, damn you! Right. That's what happens when you mess with us. Stay away from her. No, she needs my help! Hey, you wanna help someone? Why don't you help me? You wanna free a spirit? Well, I'm the real McCoy. You? Yeah, that's right. Come and save me. I'm right here. I... Wait! I'm supposed to help her! Waiting. I'll save you. No! The connection is gone! I cannot save you, but I can still save her. Hey! I said hey! I need help! Help? I'm in pain. What are you gonna do about it? I can help you. You're past your prime. I don't think you can handle it. You! Come on, then. Make with the saving. You... need me? Come on, take me to the place with the bright light. I can help you. Why do you move so far? You don't need help. Huh? Hey. Damn it. I need help. Help? <laughs> 